Hi, some of you have told me that you like to see how the gear shift works, so I will explain it briefly. You have these three levers here. Here you can see it quite well. The left foot always steps on the far left one and the right foot controls the two on the right. And with an automatic car, we only have two pedals. The pedal that is easy to press down is the gas pedal and the pedal that's hard to press, which has more resistance, is the brake pedal. If you press this pedal, the red lights on the back of the car will light up and if you let go of it, they will switch off again. And with the gas pedal, there are no lights at all. You only see here when the speed increases while driving. And then comes this left pedal, this clutch lever or clutch pedal. We call them pedals, so yeah, the clutch pedal. And you need that for the gear shift to select the respective gear. If you don't press the clutch pedal, you cannot, okay, you can shift into gear when stationary, but you cannot while driving. So while driving, you can only change the gear by pressing the clutch pedal and then selecting the gear you need at that moment. One, two, three, four, five, six gears. The difficulty for any beginner is understanding how that works. In the beginning you always have to put the clutch pedal down and then you have to let it come out. And eventually the car will move a little bit forward and there will be a certain push forward. Imagine there are wheels on this side. So here's a wheel and let it turn. And here's the motor and it spins. And through the clutch, when you let go of it, they sort of go together. I press the clutch down, they are apart, and when I let it come up, they go together and both spin. So the motor turns, being connected, it turns this gear, and this then turns the wheels of the car. And when you push the clutch pedal through, they are disconnected. I will just show you. I start the engine, I press the clutch pedal down, start the engine, it just turned on, and now the gear is idle here, so there's nothing active. I can take my foot from the pedal, because neuter means there is no gear. There's no connection to the engine and the wheels. So I can press here as I want. I can press the brake and the gas pedal. And when we hit the gas pedal, we can see the engine turning. So you, you can give energy from 1000 to 8000 RPM. And the more you give, the louder the motor is, the faster it turns. If I press the clutch now, put it in first gear, release the handbrake, and now I just let go of the clutch pedal. I just let the pedal jump. Did you see that? So that was coupled too quickly, and bang, the engine stops. And that actually happens to every beginner. He stalls the car. Instead, we have to step on the clutch, turn on the engine, and not let it come straight away. So when we slowly let the clutch pedal come out, you have a moment where you feel the car slowly moving forward. Do you notice that? It is better if you accelerate a little at the beginning. So here, the gas pedal is a bit touchy. I will go up to 3000 RPM and hold that value. And now I lift the left foot slowly. Now let's look ahead. I only lift the left foot and leave the right one slightly on the gas. You see, I'm not choking the car. So one more time, my left foot comes slowly up and I keep accelerating on the right. And now I've taken my foot completely off the clutch. See, now I'm rolling. And when I want to stop the car, when I want to stand still, I press the clutch and the brake together. I take the gear out and I can put my feet down. And let's pull the handbrake or the car will roll away. So you see, not that easy. That's another reason why I love automatic cars. You don't have to worry about all that stuff. Automatic is way better and safer than this here. But well, now you have seen how to handle a manual car. Step on the clutch, put the first gear in and accelerate a bit. Give it a little bit gas. It may be more suitable for beginners. Give it a little gas around two to 3000 RPM and then just let your left foot come up slightly very slowly with feeling and then it rolls. Yes, it's more or less simple, depends. And then you can drive in the first gear. You don't have to switch at all for now. And if you want to stop, step on the clutch again and the brake immediately. 
I have both feet down on the clutch pedal and the brake pedal. 